It's week number two of the Three Rivers Homestead Pantry Challenge, and it is Monday, January the 9th. I couldn't remember what day it was there for a minute. So I have today off, and I am prepping for the week for our meals, and I have pizza tonight on the menu. So homemade pizza, and I don't have pepperoni, but I have a little bit of ham left over. I'm going to chop that up, and some canned mushrooms, and we'll see what else we can scrounge up to put on the top of it. So other things that I am working on for this week's um, food and snack prep, I'll turn you around and show you. So I've got some ground beef I've taken out of the freezer. I'm gonna make a meatloaf for tomorrow night. I have boiled a dozen eggs so I can make some deviled eggs and leave some eggs for egg salad sandwiches. I have some clementines left here. I used some of those for my marmalade recipe for my canuary video the other day. And this is what I have left. So I'm going to juice these and I'm going to make a little clementine tea loaf or something. And that'll be nice for breakfast or snacks throughout the week. I've also taken a pound of butter out of the freezer because I'm going to make some cookies. And I've got some yeast here and I'm going to be making some bread. I use um, a poolish, which is kind of like a sourdough starter, but you don't need to feed it and let it ferment for weeks. So anyway, I'm going to be working on some bread for the week. This Poolish starter calls for an eighth of a teaspoon of yeast. So this is just dry active yeast. You can use the instant stuff if you want. And there is three quarters of a cup of room temperature water, one cup of all purpose flour. And then I just use a wooden spoon handle to give it a stir. That's what the Poolish starter looks like. And all I do is I just put a lid on it just loosely and it will rise kind of like a sourdough starter will. I just store the starter in the cupboard. It's a, a warm, dark place and then that should double in size and then we can make the bread. What I'm going to have, I've got some leftover beef from last night, an egg white that I just wrecked from peeling the eggs and just some vegetables and pickles and cheese. Making some egg salad for lunch tomorrow and then we'll do some deviled eggs too. I'm just putting this meatloaf together right now. So I've got, I think it's about two pounds of ground beef and some chopped leek. And we have some garlic and an egg, salt and pepper, some dry mustard powder. And I'm gonna put some chili sauce in there as well. I just eyeball it. Might as well use it all. So let's add the breadcrumbs. Again, just eyeball it. So I've got these deviled eggs and I always put the filling in a Ziploc bag just because I find it easier to fill the eggs. I have the deviled eggs made and the egg salad is in the fridge already. I'll just put those in the fridge in a minute, but I have this meatloaf and I've got to put just this sauce that my mom always used to put on it. It's in the recipe in the description below. So let's put this in the fridge and then it can go in the oven tomorrow night and we'll have this tomorrow night for supper. Okay, so far I have the meatloaf made, deviled eggs, the egg salad for lunch is tomorrow. I have the bread starter done. Let's see. It is, it's, it's almost doubled in size. Usually I'll leave it overnight, but I forgot to make it last night. So I'll just um, probably put the bread together and bake it after supper. So we've got two loaves for the week. I'm going to be making some peanut butter cookies right now. But one thing I wanted to say is the reason why I'm doing all this on my day off because some people might not think this is a fun day off when they have to work all week. But A, it's for the pantry challenge that I'm doing. And B, I do like this stuff because I do have people saying, you know, oh, I don't know how you do all of that. It's because I like doing it. And if you don't like it, you're not going to want to do it. So, and that's okay, right? Um, sometimes I don't. Sometimes, I, like I said before, I just want to eat cereal or a piece of toast and I don't feel like making anything. And and I was in a rut where I didn't want to do anything. And well, I, didn't want to do, I did want to do things, but I didn't want to bake all day or cook all day. But again, this is kind of my hobby. So that does make a difference. So I just took these out of the oven and they are chewy peanut butter cookies. They're really good. So I'll leave the recipe below in the description box. So I'm just going to make that clementine loaf. I had these clementines left over, like the ones that I showed you earlier. So it's really hard to zest clementines when they're soft, especially. So I just zested an orange and I'll eat this later. 
so for this orange loaf or clementine loaf I have two eggs a half a cup of oil you can use butter if you want I just find oil makes it a little bit lighter you can use half and half as well and I have three tablespoons of the orange zest and then I used a cup of sugar but I used um, some orange sugar that I made so I'll leave the link to that video above and then I'm going to add a half a cup of the clementine juice and I'm going to save that juice so I can um, add it to the glaze that I had left over from my apple turnovers from last night. Then I'm going to add two cups of flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Add it all at once. So you don't want to overmix this because it will be dry. So if there's some lumps in it, that's okay too. Put this in the oven at 350 for about 50 minutes, maybe 45 to 50. So my starter is nice and bubbly. And see, it looks like sourdough starter, doesn't it? And it actually kind of smells fermented. Again, if it was in the cupboard overnight, it would have a better flavor, but it's still good. So here's my orange loaf and we have a little bit of glaze left over from those apple turnovers I made last night. Add some clementine juice to it. Might as well add all of it. And a little bit of orange marmalade. I don't even know, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm gonna have to add some more icing sugar to it. There's bits of icing sugar not melted, but <laughs> that's okay. There are pizzas out of the oven. Uh, there's some ham on it that I had in the freezer from, I think it was Christmas time and then some my last jar of mushrooms that I pressure canned and just some vegetables. That's what we're gonna have for supper tonight. And there are the loaves of bread. You can hear them snapping and crackling. Anyway, they're not the the most artistic and they did they did kinda um, bake together, but that's okay. They'll taste good. My work lunch, leftover pizza, some clementines, and some strawberry yogurt. Supper on Tuesday night, I have corn from our garden that I put in the freezer. Um, we have fried potatoes from the baked potatoes that I made the other night. And we did those in bacon grease so they're good. And some meatloaf. And so this is my work lunch today. I have two pieces of homemade bread with some lettuce and egg salad and some cheese, a little clementine, and I've got some peanut butter cookies. I probably will eat those later. Wednesday night's dinner is leftovers, and we have leftover meatloaf and some deviled eggs that I made, some corn. I also just cooked up some frozen green beans, and then Isabel wanted the leftover roast beef, cheese, pickles, and deviled eggs. I'm going to be making some squares because the peanut butter cookies that I made the other day are almost gone. So I'm just gonna make something really quick and it is a peanut butter Rice Krispie chocolate square. Um, I think some people call them Sweet Marie bars maybe. I just use these President's Joyce or Our Compliments Rice Krispies because they're half the price of the Rice Krispies and they taste the same. Well, I think they taste the same. Just have a small saucepan to melt the brown sugar and peanut butter and corn syrup together. I have an eight by eight pan that I've just lined with parchment just because it's easier to pull the squares out. And I have a mixing bowl that I'm gonna mix the peanut butter mixture with the Rice Krispies. I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup of corn syrup and I'm just gonna eyeball it. Again, three quarters of a cup of peanut butter and I'm just gonna eyeball it. And three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. And I'm just gonna put this on the stove top around um, medium low. I've measured out about four cups of Rice Krispies. If you want them really, really chewy and more saucy, you can do three and a half cups. I might actually take out a quarter cup of this because I like, of the cereal, because I like them a little bit chewier. But anyway, this cereal looks exactly like the name brand cereal. And the name brand cereal for this family size box was $7, I think. And this one was $4. So I always go for this. So this is melted nicely. 
and I'm going to remove it from the heat and stirring it occasionally because you don't want it to burn on the bottom of your pot. So another thing that I'm going to make for a snack right now is some popcorn in a paper bag. So I'm going to put that in the microwave. Usually I do my popcorn in a big pot on the stove top, but I don't want to clean it tonight. <laughs> I don't want to clean that oil out of the pot. So I'm just going to put about a third of a cup of popcorn kernels into a paper bag and toss it in the microwave for about two minutes and 20 seconds, I think, just like regular microwave popcorn. And then we'll add butter and salt. So the popcorn's done. And I just melt some butter in the microwave in a mason jar. I'm just going to pour this peanut butter mixture over top of the cereal and then we'll put it in the pan. I just spread this out with a rubber spatula. So the chocolate chips are melted and um, if your mixture isn't warm enough your chocolate chips won't melt so you might want to pre-melt them or you can just pop it in the oven for at like 200 for a couple of minutes. And these are the squares. So I have a confession to make. I need to tell you about a purchase that I made. And um, that was last night. I ran to the feed store after work last night and I went into PV Mart, which used to be the TSC, but now it's PV Mart. And when I was paying for the feed and the shavings, I noticed they had peanuts at the front counter. And usually these are $13.49 for a big can of peanuts and they are salted party peanuts. And they were on sale for a dollar each. The expiry date isn't until 2024. I got three cans of peanuts so I can make baked goods and caramel corn with peanuts and maybe even peanut butter if I need it. So I grabbed those. So that will come off my $50 budget for Friday. So that'll be $3 off. I'll be spending $47 if I need to on Friday. Good morning everyone, it's Thursday, January 12th, and breakfast was really quick today. I just ate an orange at home, I had a cup of coffee, a handful of cashew nuts, and I actually ate a square um, that I made last night. I'm just ready to go into work, and I will show you my lunch later, and I took pork chops out for supper tonight. So Thursday, my work lunch is tomato soup, crackers, clementines, and some of those squares that I made. It's Thursday evening and I'm just home from work. It is 20 to 6 and we have some shake and bake pork chops in the oven. I had James throw them in there before I got home and I'm going to do a side. I've got a cabbage that I need to use up so I might do um, a warm coleslaw, like a, a wilted type of sauteed cabbage carrot mixture. So I'll do that as a side. So the vegetables are kind of slim picking here. But I do have part of a cabbage just down the basement. So I'm going to um, grab a basket and do a little shopping down here. Grab some vegetables. And I have a basket here because I'm going to get some potatoes for my friend Jill at work. And then I will fill some of my shelves from my overstock down here before I do my grocery shop tomorrow. So I'm just going to go in and get some carrots. these nice ones and I'll take a cabbage I might as well stock up my crisper with carrots I just need a couple tonight so I'll just stock up the crisper with carrots and here are these potatoes for my friend take a jar of peaches for dessert tonight and some pickles we have dill pickles upstairs, but we don't have any sweet pickles, so I'll put those up there. And I'm going to take a jar of pressure canned chickpeas to remind me to make some hummus as well. And I will get a leak out of the crisper. And a dozen eggs. So I've got my cast iron skillet ready. It's at about number four. And I usually saute this in some sesame oil. It's just really quick. I've got some cabbage, carrot, some leek, some 
garlic and some ginger that I've got. There, I had that left over, so I'm going to saute that. Got a little bit of lemon that I need to use up there. And then I usually add some rice wine vinegar, celery seed, salt and pepper to taste, and some red pepper flakes, but that's optional too. And I just usually throw it together and I don't measure. And it usually turns out nicely. Celery seed, just however much you like. Maybe about a quarter of a teaspoon. A few red pepper flakes, some salt and pepper to taste. I think I put in about a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar and about a half a teaspoon of granulated sugar. There we have um, shake and bake pork chops and the warm coleslaw with hot pepper jelly. For dessert tonight, I'm having some home canned peaches along with a little bit of ice cream. So this is my work lunch today. I've got crackers and some sharp cheddar cheese, some dill beans that I'd made, some olives, some carrots from the root cellar and I've got some of that balsamic vinegar to dip those in. Got some peaches from the pantry shelf and some of those squares that I made and some water. And this morning I had some egg whites, some cheddar, and some toast and coffee and orange juice. It's Friday, January 13th. Oh, it's Friday the 13th. Anyway, um, I am making a homemade hamburger helper tonight and I already have the ground beef. It's already browned. I added some uh, minced garlic and some onion, well actually leek, and some salt and pepper, dry mustard powder, and a little bit of hot pepper flakes. So I'm going to leave the link to that recipe video below. Anyway, I had a tiny little bit of, ro uh, not romaine, but head lettuce left. And usually I would throw away that amount, just give it to the chickens, because I would think it's not going to make enough. But I added some carrot and some red cabbage to it. So for the ground beef, I'm going to add one and a half cups of beef broth. And one and a half cups of milk. And one cup of tomato sauce. I just had this pasta sauce left over from my pizza the other night. And three cups of uncooked rotini noodles. And we're going to put the lid on and let that simmer for 15 minutes. I have my stove top set to about number three. All right, so the pasta is cooked through. And I'm going to add cheese in once it's cooled down a little bit. I don't want it to curdle because I'm actually using Swiss cheese, Swiss cheese slices, actually. These ones, I don't have any cheese that, you know, mozzarella or a nice cheddar. So I'm going to use up these. Hopefully it doesn't curdle. Okay, so I'm just going to put maybe three. Yeah, we'll do three. I'm going to put the lid on. So far, so good. This is what we're having for supper tonight. Making some cookies tonight, believe it or not. We have eaten those squares and the peanut butter cookies that I made. So I thought I'd make some chocolate chip cookies. And the recipe for these, I'll leave the link below in the description box. We had a slight cookie fail here. Not too bad, but they're not usually this thin. <laughs> it was either because I melted the butter well, partially melted it, which makes them spread out, or it's because I messed up when I measured out the flour. But either way, they'll taste good. It's Saturday, January 14th, and I just got back from grocery shopping. And if you remember, my budget weekly is $50 for dairy and fresh fruit and vegetables. And I was supposed to be spending $47 today because I got some peanuts on sale for a dollar a can each at the feed store on Tuesday. So I had $47. I went over today. I went to $50.25. So I have overspent by $3.25 for the week and I'm going to turn you around and show you what I got. So this is everything that I got today and these are the peanuts that I picked up on Tuesday. You can see they are a dollar a can so I, I had to do that. <laughs> and this is my receipt from today. So I grabbed a couple of things that James wanted and Isabel wanted. She likes soy sauce for her um, sushi when she makes it. And then James wanted some cereal. So I got the cereal. It was $3.99. That's the regular price. The That's the store's um, no-name brand. And it tastes and looks just like the leading brand, which is Kellogg's. And the leading brand is $6.99. So half the price. This was on for $1.98. 
and the regular price is $3.98. I got a bag of milk and that was $5.69. Of course the peanuts were a dollar each from Tuesday. I got some yogurt for $4.45 that was on sale. The sour cream is $2.29. Then the cheese. The cheese was on sale for $5. Each block was $5. So I got an extra old, a marble, and this kind of mozzarella. I was going to get a head of broccoli, but they were very small and they were $3.98. These frozen bags were on sale for $1.98 each, so I got two. And then the romaine hearts were on sale for $4.98. And the cucumbers were $2.25 each. And then the oranges, the bigger bags were, they were $6.99, but I grabbed these off the discount rack. So there's a combination of oranges, clementines, and one apple there. And they were $1.49 per package. So last week I was putting my receipt and the extra change. This is from last week. And what I have to do is I had to dip into my other funds to pay for my overage of my groceries. So I'm going to take out five and put in $1.75 back there. $3.25 back into one of the other funds that I dipped into. It's Saturday night and it is 20 to 7 and I didn't feel like cooking anything so we did our groceries this morning and I took a picture of my breakfast that I had. It was just normal um, egg whites and fried egg whites. I don't normally love eggs. I hate the yolk except in deviled eggs and egg salad for some reason and I hate mayonnaise except for in those situations. I don't know why but it's kind of weird. And then for lunch, Isabel and I shared a box of french fries from a fish and chip shop. Usually when I go grocery shopping, we will go for a treat or sometimes we'll get a pizza and bring it home. And I take that out of my entertainment fund when I budget. So we did that. And then tonight I am probably just going to make myself some nachos. And James had um, leftovers. Isabel and I will probably have some nachos. So. Um, that is Saturday night. There are the nachos and I used a little bit of some leek that I had in the fridge and some of my canned jalapenos from last year. Um, sour cream, salsa, some lettuce that I just got and there was a little bit of brown beans left over in the fridge so nachos.